What's up guys, this is Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine. I wanna make a really, really quick video on Boyle's Law and why it's so very important that we never violate the golden rule in scuba, which is never ever hold your breath. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple of different things today. One, I'm gonna show you just how quickly pressure changes while underwater. Now, we're just simply here in a three foot pool and a lot of people wonder how deep you can go before you run the risk of some type of air embolism or spontaneous pneumothorax. And I can tell you right now, even in a three foot pool, if you was to lay on your belly and stand up after taking a breath of compressed gas without exhaling, there's enough pressure drop between say three foot and here at the surface that you will have a lung rupture. And I can actually demonstrate that. If I took my BC right now, and I'm gonna stand up to do this. I'm gonna inflate the BC completely. And you're going to hear that the OPD or overpressurization valve is actually going off. Alright? Now, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to squat down until that valve goes off. And then once it settles, once it's equalized, I'm going to stand up without even touching my inflator. And you will see the pressure drop as well. So, I'm going to squat down. I'm a, probably about a foot and a half underwater with my bladder. I'm going to inflate. You can see that it's blowing the OPD. Now, check this out. I'm not even going to touch the inflator, but as I stand up, you will see that it will release air because of the pressure difference. So as I stand up, and I hope that the camera picked that up, but you can definitely hear that there's enough pressure drop, even in the last six inches of the water, that if it was your lungs or say your blood vessels where that you get a, an air embolism, that just goes to show you why it's so very important that you never ever come up without exhaling during your ascent phase because of the pressure. Let's do that one more time. I'm gonna inflate. As you can see, I've got way too much air in the BC, but it settles out. Now it's equal. There's equal amount of pressure pushing in on the BC as the air pushing out. But watch as I stand up, and it can't be more than about a foot underwater. As I stand up, even that short little distance, there's enough pressure difference that I could have popped a lung or had an air embolism. So guys, I hope you understand why it's so very important that during the ascent phase, we are constantly breathing in and out or we are simply exhaling the whole way in this short period because there is enough pressure drop for it to make a difference. Guys, I hope you understand the importance of Boyle's Law now. If you've got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. If you've got any questions on any of other diving physics, check out some of the videos. I'll put them down in the description below. Check out the links. There's plenty of videos that we've produced on diving physics alone. But guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, simply smash that like button for you. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.